The Street Triple has been one of the most important models for Triumph in its road motorcycle lineup. And back in 2007, when it launched the bike first, that's when it entered the important middleweight naked segment. Well, of course, that's over a decade back. In 2017 is when Triumph really upped the game for the Street Triple by launching the top of the line Street Triple RS. A bike that claims to be a road-going sports bike because it's as comfortable, it is a sport naked, but at the same time, it is perfectly ready for the racetrack. And now for 2020, Triumph is upping the game further with a seriously updated version of the Street Triple RS. This is the motorcycle and we are in Spain at a racetrack to ride it. At first glance, you might think that this motorcycle, the 2020 version of the Street Triple RS, looks very similar to the outgoing version. But there are some interesting changes. And of course, it starts with the headlight. The bug eyes have gotten sharper now, while the daytime running lamps are LED strips that are exclusive to the RS version and make for a distinctive, angrier looking face now. The fly screen and intake have been redesigned as well to complement the new headlamp design better, while the tank extensions, decals and pillion seat cowl have all been made sharper to add to the bike's aggressive stance. The exhaust design has changed too and it also gets a carbon fibre tip now. Overall the changes are not extensive and I would have liked a little more distinction as compared to the older motorcycle. That said, Triumph has updated the instrument cluster though and the TFT display looks crisper and fresher now thanks to its revised themes. More importantly, the instrument cluster integrates Bluetooth connectivity for smartphones now, thereby offering notifications for calls and messages and turn-by-turn -turn navigation as well. You can also connect your GoPro to the instrument cluster via Bluetooth and control functions like taking pictures or shooting videos on the go. The electronic suite remains largely the same though and with that said, not much has changed in terms of the rider aids. As is the case with most of the midlife updates that Triumph gives to its motorcycles, it hasn't really changed or reworked the engine, but of course it has tweaked the power delivery on this motorcycle and has given a boost in terms of the mid-range performance of this motorcycle. The power output is exactly the same at 123 PS, though the torque output has gone up from 77 Nm to 79 Nm now. But more importantly, Triumph says that its Motor 2 and Daytona 765 engine teams have worked even more closely with the Street Triple RS engine team to make the internals lighter through higher precision machining and thereby reducing losses. The improved mid-range performance is the biggest highlight on the updated Street Triple RS though and that's something we got to experience on the road and on track as well. On the road, the improved engine performance ensured I did not have to downshift even if slowing down, be it in traffic or around corners in the hills. In fact, I was able to ride the bike at speeds as low as 30 km per hour in third gear, which is quite impressive for a high strength motorcycle like the RS. On track, improved mid-range performance meant better grunt through the corners and higher exit speeds as the engine offered more torque at low revs, especially around slower corners. And that's besides the fact that the new free flow exhaust makes the engine rev even more freely while sounding even sweeter. Another important addition for 2020 is a new quick shifter that offers clutchless upshifts and downshifts both, unlike the older version's quick shifter that offered clutchless upshifts only. All said and done, what's really impressive though is that Triumph has managed to ensure the Street Triple RS has not gotten heavier despite all the changes and updates, and at 166 kg dry, the bike is still the lightest motorcycle in its segment. In terms of the setup, Triumph has not really changed the suspension and this motorcycle is still running the same top of the line front forks from Shoah and has got an Olin's monoshock at the rear and of course the suspension at both ends is fully adjustable. But what has changed are the tyres. Now we really like the Street Triple RS for the Super Corsas, it runs from Pirelli and now this motorcycle gets the updated version of the Super Corsas which offer even more grip. So if you like to show off, get your knee down on a track, it's even easier now. Clearly, the new Pirelli tyres are the star of the show for the updated RS on track as they offer even higher confidence levels and allow you to lean harder into corners, thus letting you carry more speed through the corners than you expect yourself to. 
but a lot of credit for the bike's sports bike like handling on track also goes to its twin spa aluminum chassis and the well tuned suspension too. In fact, I am glad Triumph has not fiddled with the chassis or the suspension setup because it feels as impressive as before and offers a very confident feel. So while the bike impresses experienced riders even more on track, at the same time, it continues to offer a friendly feel to inexperienced riders with its forgiving nature. In that sense, the Street Triple RS is a great motorcycle to hone your track riding skills on just like before. And given that Triumph has not changed the suspension settings, we expect the updated Street Triple RS to offer a good ride quality even on Indian roads just like before. So it's been a full day out on the road and on track with the 2020 Street Triple RS and of course having ridden it so hard on the racetrack, I can confirm that this bike feels even better now in terms of its dynamics and in that sense it's even more satisfying especially on a racetrack and of course that is the focus that Triumph has with this motorcycle. It says that this is an everyday motorcycle that you could take to a racetrack as well and have a lot of fun. Now as for the timeline, this motorcycle is expected to come to India early in 2020 in the month of January. And when it comes, we expect it to probably command a small premium over the older bike. But apart from that, this motorcycle is easily one of the most desirable middleweight nakeds in the country.